Leskinen over to Wheel. Veyer's in front. Wheel puts it to Veyer, and he scores! Yannick Veyer on the side of the net, down low, just wrapped it around Redmond. 4-2. Well, we saw that play in the second period where he gets that puck on the red line right on the goal line on his forehand and just takes it and tries to tuck it back in on the far post. Wasn't able to do it in the second period against Redmond. He's able to bury it here to put the rocket up 4-2. Just under seven minutes left in the third period. Power play goal, and that's Bayer's second of the game, fourth of the season. Well, you can just see as that puck now comes back to Jordan Wheel, we talked about it in the break, his ability to create space, his ability to, to slow things down. He comes in, pulls everybody over towards him, and then gets the puck down to Veya, and Veya makes no mistake with that wraparound, goes to the far post. Redmond's just not able to get his, his, uh, his pad over. Yeah, Redmond looked a little bit out of position, just a little head fake there. Early pressure. Mackey giving away the puck in front of the net, but Veya could not get the shot through. Yannick Viu back in the lineup for the Rocket. He served a two-game suspension from the American Hockey League after an incident on Monday's win in Belleville. So he's back in there, and he gives Laval just a little bit more of a veteran presence, and he can help on the offense. He did not panic in that moment. Bisson had it in his feet, but he didn't get happy feet. He just took his time, found the puck, and no harm, no foul. Long pass from Pospisil ends up on Primo, and behind the play, Veyu is going to the bench immediately and down in a heap of trouble is Pospisil as he's holding his leg. Did not see what was happening. Pospisil had looked up ice and fired a pass. It was by everybody, went down to Primo. So let's take a look at it, shall we? This is my first view of it too. Yeah, he stuck his knee out. Veyu stuck his knee out on Pospisil. You don't like to see that. And Pospisil is down. Last year, Pospisil missed time with a significant injury. Three months with a concussion after a fight. And it looks like Yannick Veyu's afternoon is over. After suspended for two games, he comes back in and he's part of this for three minutes and six seconds. It's a five minute major and a great opportunity for the Stockton Heat to get back into this hockey game trailing one nothing as Pospisil is heading off and that is not a sight that anybody wants to see. It's a play that didn't need to happen. As Pospisil not able to put any weight on that foot and will skate it out all the way to the red line and fire it in. Wall stays in his goal. It's bouncing around and a hard hit. Bayer takes out Dusak hard. Dusak is slow to get up. Big Good. hit yeah. by Yannick Bayer. And Dusak is, oh, he's having trouble. Right They're going to need a whistle here. He's just laying on the ice. He tried to stand up, and he could not. And they'll blow that dead. And right now... Bobby McMahon is having words with Yannick Veyert. Yeah, well, I'm sure that we're going to see something here, but uh, but my goodness, Duzak goes into the corner. He takes that one pretty hard. I think his face hits the dasher here. We'll get the replay on it, but Duzak's been having a, a good run of late, two goals and two assists in his in his last three games, and and as Marley's uh, teammates look on the ice now in concern, he's heading back to the bench, and I, I think that we'll probably see him actually just make a right turn and go directly to the locker room instead yeah. of back to the bench. There it is right there. He was kind of, he's skating on his own. He's not without help, but he does not look sure No, he was I, def I, yeah, I think someone should be holding Well, that's it. Right he now. was definitely a little bit wobbly there, and we see the trainers get to him. They're taking him off the ice.